Hello and welcome back to another book review and this one is Energy Magic by Mark Nekamp Jr. Um, just been released in the UK and I wanted to come on and just have a quick little chat about this. So right at the beginning and I absolutely agree with him, Energy Magic is one of the first things that you learn in any coven, in any school, at Kitchen Witch School, the first lessons are all about energy, about being able to feel the energy. So for any of the KW students, I would highly recommend this. I would highly recommend this to anybody, whatever your level or how, whatever your experience is in using magic, because this covers everything. It really does. So I will start at the beginning by saying that the I've been more organised. Notice I have my little things this time rather than doing what I did last time, which is just get overexcited. So there is a comprehensive contents list. The, the book itself is divided into three sections. So your first section is all about basic energy work. And in the introduction, the author does suggest that whatever your experience, start from the beginning and work through, unless you are really, really confident, in which case then go on to level two and level three, or part two and part three, part two and part three, sorry. But I would agree with the author in that, going back to basics, sometimes, however experienced I, I think I ever am, there is always something to learn. And I, uh, for me, going back to basics every now and again actually rekindles that fire, that energy, that that oomph to my practice. So I really enjoyed this. So he goes through grounding and centering. He goes through feeling auras. Um, he also goes into meditation and trance states. The use of sigils. So this is quite interesting because one of the other books that I got recently was about sigils. Um, and this, the, the, the area in this, where he go, where this author goes into sigils is almost like an extra oomph onto the other book that I've just recently read, um, which is by Jonathan Argento. And I'll probably do a little review on that as well. I think, I think I will. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll just try and show you if I can some of the diagrams that he comes up with in this. Just fascinating, fascinating. I, I, have, I have used sigils over the years. I don't think I've ever really got a grip to them until I read Jonathan's book and then this one. So anyway, we'll, we'll carry on reviewing this book. Um, and then he goes, so this is all still part part one, by the way. This is all still the basics, um, sacred and ceremonial space and how to work energy for those. The whole premise of this book is to manipulate energy without the use of anything else. No tools, no wand, no special clothing, nothing, nothing. It is literally all about the fact that as a magical practitioner, you have it within your power. If you can actually feel the energy, we're all connected. Energy is everywhere. Everything is energy, whether it's a rock, a stone, the air, a tree, a plant, a building, asphalt, whatever. It's all energy based. So if we can tap into that energy, we can do magic. We don't need anything else other than ourselves and our ability to feel the energy. So yeah, so that's so part that's part one. Part two is the advanced energy work. Um, so it's about healing, cord cutting, which was fascinating. Um, protection magic, again, really interesting, really interesting going through. It's like I said, it's all it's all the things that I think I, I I've known and I've done, but I've moved through. So this brought me back, it, it grounded me back into using energy, 
feeling the energy and um, manipulating, if necessary, to get what I want. In a nice way, obviously. Um, trance journeying is in this. Evocation and invocation. And then spell work and ritual. So that, that's the advanced section of this. Then the third section is the energy magic grimoire. So I'm just going to slip back to this one because this is really. So at, at the top of each part, you get a little summary of what's in there. So balance, defense, healing, love, miscellaneous, offense, prosperity, protection, self-empowerment, shadow work, and spiritual evolution. And all of it is absolutely brilliant. But I will say that using the ideas in here for the shadow work really did stimulate my magical intrigue so yeah it's it is but in this section there are there are spells there um you've got the love you've got the basic glamour um a twin blossom of chakras where you connect your chakras and yeah it's just fascinating and he does he does go um so with the energy work, especially in, in section one, he actually, Mark, look at Nikamp, um, talks about actually linking not just to things on our world, but to actually connect to the energy of the moon, the energy of the sun, the energy of other celestial. So one of his um, was Mars, you know, when you need that that power and uh, the warrior, the, the strength to link into the energy of Mars. If you've got a meeting where you need communication, link into the energy of Mercury. Fascinating, absolutely fascinating. I'd never thought of trying to go that far. Um, perhaps I'm, I just haven't been brave enough or whatever, but yeah, it, that had never occurred to me. So yeah, really interesting. And as you'll know from my previous one, I do like a good bibliography. So although this is a thicker book, there are one, two, three, there are, there are three and a half pages of a bibliography, which is still pretty good and does actually, I mean, some of these books go back to 1993, I think is one of the earliest ones, right up into the 2000s. I'm just double checking that there weren't any before 93. No, there's quite a few in the 1990s, and then we hit the 2000s. Oh, I beg your pardon, there is one 1988. Um, but yeah, there is, there is again, a wealth of, if you want to look further, you can. I would think possibly some of those books are out of print, but maybe you can find them online. Um, I'm quite envious that this, this author has got access to books that are that old. However, we have developed, we have um, moved with the times. So, yeah, I might not be able to get into the books that he specifically said, but I'm sure that if I looked them up, they would take me into a direction similar uh, with probably more up-to-date references and ideas. So, yes, all in all, I thoroughly enjoyed looking through this book and reading, making, making some notes, putting my little uh, labels in. Um, and this is going to be a book that I am going to be going back into. I think, I think I've done it the right, for me, I've done it the right way. I've read it. I've marked the bits that I am at the moment interested in. Um, so that I can go back over them and look at them in more detail and you use the ideas that are in there. Um, other people may find that you ju you just look at the contents list and or just flick it open and see where it lands. And that's interesting because that landed on all the zodiac signs because that's the other thing. That's one of the other uh, energy links 
linking into the energy of the, the zodiac sign, current zodiac sign. Anyway, I hope that has been a useful waffle. There is going to be a blog about this, but it is available on Amazon and all good booksellers. It is from Moon Books. So you can obviously purchase it straight from Moon Books. It's also on Kindle. Yeah, really very, very interesting. Recommend this to all levels of practitioner, however experienced or inexperienced you are. So yeah, see you next time.